Meme review. Meme review. Meme review. All right, so I kind of like the tech stuff. You guys know this. Let me turn on these here. Heated shaft lot back at it again with you guys. Heated heated loft railing. Back at it again with a little tech review on this. Uh, gonna be a quick video. I just wanted to you know make the comparison because I kind of like this stuff. And I've been using this cheaper Ceramonic smart mic, which you know in its respect has not done bad. But the problem is if you drop it like if you drop the camera which you shouldn't be doing but I did by accident and this is in the side of the camera so the camera falls boom and then the actual jack gets bent and then it only plays out of one uh, one side and I have to literally go into Vegas and click every single audio track that I edit and combine the track so it comes out of both speakers and it's just it's 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 shot and excuse the noise, this is just my heated shop loft railing. The heater next to a fridge. The heater is next to the fridge, guys. Just letting you guys know. Would you look at that fridge? Look at this fridge. It has a heater next to it. For my railing. But yeah. <laughs> That's enough rambling. I'm going to do a little unboxing of this. Remember, this is a $20 mic. This is a $60 mic. So we'll see. We'll see what the actual difference is. Obviously, I'm not going to mount it the way that I want to today because I don't have the parts, but I'm going to put it on the camera. I just won't be able to use my flip-up lens. So that's your directional mic as a whole. This little windscreen thing comes off. Don't know what that does. I'm not a pro, guys. And it's not a powered mic, which is mint because when I started unscrewing this, I thought maybe I needed a battery behind there, but this is literally just the, uh, there's just three wires and one of them has like a little resistor on it. That's what we're working with for inside that. So you take this, you snap this on there. Right there. And there's your directional mic. I'm not using this big puffy friggin windscreen because I just feel like that's I don't know. Maybe I'll try it out. Yeah, I'll do a sound comparison. I want to see if the, uh, ideally, it'd be nice if this right here, just this foam piece would fit onto that. I think it might. So I'm going to try that out. So that's what it sounds like with the windscreen off of it. The, sorry, the dead cat. Excuse me. Let me use camera terms here so I don't look like an imbecile. And, uh, this is actually a good comparison because before I was talking with my heated shop railing loft heater is uh was behind it and the native mic on this is more of like a ambient mic this is a directional a shotgun mic whatever you want to call it this if this is tuning out that heater then i mean it's doing its job because it's directional and um i'll compare that with the smart mic uh, well, i'll wait for the heater all right, so that's the heater fan on, and then I'm gonna put the smart mic in, and then you'll see the difference between this and that. This is the smart mic. Don't know what it's doing. This one has a foam windscreen on it. The other one has no windscreen on it and no dead cat. I'm gonna do a wind test between the smart mic, the Rode Video Micro with no windscreen, and um, it with the dead cat, so. And now this is with the dead cat and the Rode Video Micro. Really don't know if the sound, like, I have a feeling that it's going to be louder, like it's going to be more sensitive to um, the actual wind, even though it has the dead cat on it. I don't know. I think the volume itself on the Rode is going to be louder than it is with the Ceremonic Smart Mic because, like I said, the Ceremonic Smart Mic is convenient because it's so small, but... I mean, $20 here, $20 there, I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to buy the road, and I really hope that it's good. So, this is not in front of wind with the dead cat. So, yeah, let me know if you guys like the um, the dead cat on it, because I think it just kind of looks goofy. It's, like, bigger than the friggin' camera, pretty much. And uh, this is it without it. 
There you go. Only thing that I really don't like about this is I cannot see the screen. And I don't know if I'm centered. I don't know anything. I can't just do this freehand. But uh, I will be trying, attempting to mount it on the side tomorrow where it'll be on the side of the camera and pointing towards me so I won't have to do all this uh, guessing with the, uh, with the camera work. A little unboxing and comparison between the Ceramonic Smart Mic, which is $22. And the Rode Video Micro, which is about 60 bucks from Best Buy, I think. It was online, I think I saved like 6 bucks. If you go there, I think it's going to be like 64 65 with tax. So buy it online, guys. Or buy it on Amazon, whatever. But yeah, that's, uh, that's really it. We'll go ahead and review this footage and uh, give you guys a final thought based on what I'm seeing when I edit because you'll be able to see the sound waves, like how, how much louder it is than not, and we'll be able to see more distortion. So I'm going to do some editing, and I'm going to come back to you guys with a more detailed, like, hey, look, this is what this mic is doing, this is what this mic is doing. You guys get it. Three-way comparison between Ceramonic, Rode, and the native Canon EOS M6 mic. All right, guys, well, I've been reviewing the footage, and it's looking pretty damn impressive. So if you're wondering what I have right now, I actually got that windscreen from the Ceramonic mic on the road, and uh, this is going to be the first test of that. So, so from what I'm seeing here, so to make this not super boring, this, what you guys are looking at is right here, this is all native. And then see how this track, the peaks are a lot shorter, a lot smoother, there's no big like bursts. It's because this is an ambient native mic on the Canon, and then this is the road mic. It's very selective, it's directional. And then this, see how this top track has all this? This bottom one has nothing. That is the Ceramonic mic. And that's why in some videos you guys have heard like the audio switch from one to one. You can hear that right here. This is the smart mic, don't know what it's doing. This one has a foam windscreen on it. The other one has no windscreen on it and no so that's that's what that is. That's the sound waves from the two channels that I would have to go by and literally do this on every one. Look, here. This is the smart mic. Don't know what it's That's what I've been doing to every damn one, but I'm going to leave it on both so you guys can hear what that sounds like. So there's that. Here is in front of the wind. And then here is in front of the one with the dead cat with the road mic. And now this is with the dead cat and the road video micro. See how smooth it is? So like I said, I'm really impressed with this mic. I think it was well worth the 60 bucks. I just have to mount it the way that I want to mount it. Because up there, I really just don't like the fact that I can't flip up that screen. It kind of makes the whole flip up screen option that this camera has. That is like a sought after thing in the vlogging industry, you know? Kind of useless, 100% useless actually. Literally, I can't use it whatsoever. So I'm going to be mounting it on the side of the camera so I could actually see what I'm doing and uh, use that thing that everyone wants to use when they get a vlog camera. And if you guys haven't noticed or just worn around, I used to have a Canon EOS M10. Uh, that was a super entry-level camera. No mic input. It didn't film in 1080-60. This one does. I film all my videos in 60fps. And... Um, the battery life on this one's way better. Same lens, but this one has dual pixel autofocus, which is like another super sought after thing in the industry, which the G7X does not have. And that's why when you see a lot of the vlogger guys that have G7Xs, like the camera looks fine, but there, again, there's no mic input and you can't, like the autofocus is trash on them. Just like my old camera, autofocus is trash. This one, autofocus is fire. And for my tripod slash like handle mount thing, it's just a King Joy. KT50. That's it. But very nice. Quick little review. Sorry for the, the rambling. I, I literally wasn't going to post today because like I said, I was Christmas shopping and whatnot, but I had to come here to pick up my mic anyway. So I figured I'd throw this up. It's not going to be a long video. I know a lot of you guys are just going to skip it. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. No hard feelings. But there are some of you guys that I know enjoy the tech review type stuff and want to know like what my setup is in case you want to get into YouTube. Very 
you know, minimalistic, but I would say really good performing setup. This camera is way better than my old one. It's about $350 more than my old one, but that's something for another day, you know. Canon EOS M6, Rode Video Micro, Kingjoy. That's really it. 64 gig uh, SanDisk card, HD card. But thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you want to see more of this tech review stuff. Let me know what you think about all three mics, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.